today on CT Style. So get this, from time to time, do you forget where you put something? You forget where you put things? Every, every day, I feel like. <laughs> That's kind of how it is. How about for you? It happens, right? Mm -hmm. You think you're putting it in a safe spot and then you just forget where the safe yeah. spot was. But, but when it comes to money, I, I feel like most of us have an idea of where our money is. Yeah, lack well, of money. Except this man, a Canadian man, uh, was stuffing his TV with more than a hundred thousand dollars in cash. He what? did it 30 years ago, planning to give his family the inheritance one day. Then he forgot all about it. Forgot about a hundred thousand dollars. How does one do that? I wow. don't, how is that physically possible? He gave the TV to a family friend who took it to a recycling facility, and then I don't know how this happened, but one of the employees actually was. Uh, taking apart the TV <laughs> and found one hundred thousand dollars. I, I mean, a, a good employee, How a good loyal, Samaritan, right? to you know, return it to police. Were able to find the gentleman uh, based on the documentation that was in the TV. How do you even get money into a TV? I'm not, I'm not sure. sure. Yeah, you, I mean, you got to really take that bad boy apart, right? <laughs> I guess so, and then forget about it after thirty years. Go 100, figure. One hundred grand. Jeez. All right. So drones have been in the news a lot lately, but a college student in Georgia has come up with a very clever idea to use drones to pollinate plants. Yep, 24-year-old Anna Haldwing first developed the idea for the hand-sized device that mimics how bees pollinate flowers and crops. It's pretty interesting. The drone uh, actually sucks the pollen from the plant and it expels it onto other flowers to enable cross-pollination. And Anna says that she designed the device as sort of a teaching tool, but her professor is saying, hey, this could be a big-time thing. She could make a lot of money with it with big farming. I mean, Smart girl, Anna. Kind of interesting. Good for her. Maybe we can invest in, uh, you know... Put our, our stash of money in the TV, no? <laughs> You're not feeling that idea. Yeah, not, no, not a business not. you're interested in. All right, moving in. on okay. now. So you've probably seen the winner of this year's Westminster Dog Show. Uh, the dog's name is Rumor. There she is. It's a beautiful German Shepherd. And for her big win yesterday, she was treated to a steak lunch at Sardi's in New York City. What do you think about that? I, I think she's she earned like it, a queen. right? Yeah, she's eating better than we are. Uh, so with all this success, I mean, what, what could be next for her? Probably going to wind up taking her home. She's going to uh, chill out for a couple of months, and then, uh, you know, probably when she gets ready, we'll try to find an a, a appropriate date for her. She'll have a little rendezvous some weekend, and hopefully there will be some babies in the future for her. <laughs> Okay. Wow, that's uh, quite a plan. That's, Wasn't expecting that. That's not the creepiest thing we've heard. Uh, well, we're glad Rumor enjoyed her, her nice steak. filet mignon there. Very, very nice. Congrats to Rumor there. Now, uh, in, in the line of romance, weddings, uh, we, we just had our wedding proposal. Yes, engagement. all happening uh, at the Palace Theater, yes. thanks to Joseph A. Conti Jewelers. Mm -hmm. So that was a success. But there's a new spin here on mm -hmm. the wedding, and it includes tacos. Yeah, because nothing says romance like Taco Bell. Taco Bell's <laughs> offering one, th they're saying lucky couple, to win a free trip to Vegas to become the first pair to get married at their brand new Las Vegas Cantina, which basically is like Taco Bell that serves booze. And it includes service with an ordained officiant, ooh, uh, private reception in the cantina, and sauce packet garter and bouquet. That's oh spicy. Boy. Hopefully you have some napkins on hand. Uh, and for dessert, check this out. You get Cinnabon Delight Cake. I do like the, the Cinnabons. <laughs> I, I feel like you might actually sign up for this thing. I'm be... already married. Uh, okay. uh, to enter, contestants must post a 30-second video or photo on social media explaining how Taco Bell is a part of their love story. How, how Maybe would... they have a tradition. They always go to Taco Bell after they do something. I don't know. <laughs> would, would you care to no, add more to that? I was just saying after. Does this no. in, involve spicy sauce, or is this, this is a different topic? No, you uh, took it out of context oh, there. Oh, okay, okay. But, but maybe they met at a Taco Bell, they met it. in line. Right. Because that's romantic, you know, meeting at Taco Bell. But, but have no fear, <laughs> if you don't win the contest, you can still get married there in Vegas at Taco Bell uh, this year for $600. That's the going rate for weddings at Taco Bell now. Good to know. In Vegas. Good to know. All right, so the battle of the century was captured on camera. Diane Mitchell walked out of the window to find her ferocious feline <laughs> standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a super squirrel. Is there a door in between them? I, I believe there's a glass window right okay. there. <laughs> Let's hope, <laughs> Teresa. The cat eventually <laughs> threw in the towel after 12 rounds and pawing at the glass. Both animals made it out of the ring unscathed, thankfully. Oh, and that's he, kind of funny he, video. He's still going at it. The, the squirrel is pretty bold there. Just hanging. I'm safe. Staying You're not tall. getting through. <laughs> that's it. That's it. All right.